I think I found the perfect tripod for my preference. In this episode of our Hashtag Creator Life series, we're going to check out something that I've been eyeing for a few months now. So I wanted a lightweight but sturdy carbon fiber video tripod with a smooth fluid head, quick height and angle adjustment since I always shoot multiple angles of a product, something with a ball head that can tilt into portrait mode for short form videos and can collapse into a very small form factor to save some space in the studio. The Ulanzi TT09 Vidigo carbon fiber travel tripod has all that and more. It also has an integrated screwdriver using the handle with multiple bits option, has removable pole for low angle in inverted shooting a couple of quarter inch threads for mounting accessories, hanger for a sandbag or weights, replaceable feet for different terrains, and an Arca Swiss compatible plate for quick release. It definitely checks all my boxes. Now, is it something that you are willing to invest in? Here, let me share with you the rest of my thoughts. Let's get into it. Now, prior to this, I had the Ulanzi F38 carbon fiber tripod, which is also an amazing video tripod. At the time, I had to sell it because I needed more funds for my wife's kidney operation and was ready to just use my old aluminum tripod. Luckily, I had the opportunity to collaborate with JG Superstore and they sent the Ulanzi TT09 Vidigo tripod for me to review. So as always, honest disclaimer, while they did send the tripod, they did not pay me any monetary compensation and I'm allowed to share my honest thoughts with you. They will also not review this video nor the script prior to release. With that out of the way, let me share with you a quick unboxing experience. It came with a white box with image previews and key features around it. Inside the box, we have the user manual, a nice quality carrying bag, and the Ulanzi TT09 VideoGo tripod itself, additionally protected by a plastic, and some optional pointed base for different terrain. At first look in touch, you will really feel the premium quality of the tripod. The design and construction feels quite refined all around here. We have lever lock legs for quick and precise height adjustments, replaceable bases for different surfaces, good quality locking mechanisms, and a lot more, which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. Now, the reason why I wanted to get this particular model rather than choose again the Ulanzi F38 that I had, I feel like the Ulanzi TT09 Vidigo checks more of my boxes. Granted, the Ulanzi F38 is lighter, more compact, has an integrated F38 quick release video head, and features quick expanding legs, but I prefer the Ulanzi TT09 Vidigo more based on my personal use case scenario. Here, let me explain. First, while the quick expandable legs of the Ulanzi F38 are super convenient when extending the legs at its maximum height, I prefer the lever lock legs of the Ulanzi TT09. It's still relatively quick to extend while having a more precise and easier height adjustment. I also feel like the locking mechanism is more stable due to the lever lock design. The downside of this is that you may have to tighten the nuts over time when it starts to get loose. It's not a problem though as this tripod has a nifty feature up its sleeve. More on that later. Speaking of height, the maximum height of the Ulanzi TT09 is up to 142cm, which is just enough for my preference, and is also relatively stable at max height. I also like the auto-locking mechanism of the legs when expanding the angle. It's quick and intuitive. You can also remove the center column to achieve the minimum height of 14cm for low angle shooting or reverse the column and ball head for a ninja style inverted shooting position. On a normal stance, you can also hang a sandbag to provide more stability. Now, another thing that I really love about the Ulanzi TT09 is the outstanding ball head. If you get this on Ulanzi's official website, there are three options. The widely used Arca Swiss and Ulanzi's F38 and Claw Quick Release ball heads. My personal favorite is the F38 Quick Release system. It's relatively quick and secure, and I already have a bunch of F38 base and top plates across all my mounting points like tripods, overhead rigs, and what have you. What I got from JG Superstore though is the Arca Swiss variant, so I had to attach my own F38 base plate. It's easy as it's Arca Swiss compatible. Now aside from the quick release ball head, I also like its overall quality. The knobs are solid and refined and are also easy to adjust. We have the usual adjustments like tilting, panning, and of course the option to adjust the angle of the handle. Speaking of the handle, as I alluded to earlier, this tripod has a nifty feature up its sleeve. The handle actually doubles as a screwdriver with interchangeable bits on its end. You can use it to tighten the joints and levers or use it on your other camera gears. What an absolute bonus, right? Now, check this out. Even though this is technically a video fluid head, it also has an integrated ball head with an option for portrait mode, which is super clutch for vertical content like TikTok, Reels, and Shorts. 
And yes, of course, it also has a leveling bubble. Now, in terms of the smoothness of the fluid head, I can honestly say that this is the smoothest fluid head that I've tried. The tension knob is super smooth and the fluid head itself is also smooth with no perceivable unwanted jerkiness. The panning movement is also smooth and without unwanted jerkiness or sudden stops. As long as you can keep your hand and breath steady, rest assured that you're going to get a pretty smooth shot. By the way, we also have a couple of quarter inch threads on both sides in between the legs for mounting some accessories. Now, while its legs are made out of lightweight carbon fiber, it is heavier than the Ulanzi F38 with a net weight of 1.5 kilograms. On the positive side, it can hold more weight than the Ulanzi F38 with a tripod load capacity of up to 20 kilograms and ball head load capacity of 5 kilograms. And you can definitely feel that it is built better overall. So all in all, both tripods have their own advantages. The Ulanzi F38 being lighter and portable with quick expanding legs, while the Ulanzi TT09 offers stability and more features. Of course, it's not perfect. I have a couple of gripes about the Ulanzi TT09. First is this part of the center column. I feel like it is thinner than I would have preferred. The reason for this is to give way for the vertical tilting of the ball head. It's not a problem when the center pole is not extended. Just be mindful of your rig's total weight. And the other one is also about the center column. As of this moment, it's kinda tight and hard to extend. I can imagine this will get easier over time with wear and tear, but yeah. Other than that, the Ulanzi TT09 Vidigo is again the perfect tripod for me. It's not cheap for around 10,800 Philippine pesos, but if you're serious about your content creation journey, this is a worthy investment in my honest opinion. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching, huge thanks to JG Superstore for sending this in. Again, this video is not paid, and they will see this video at the same time as you do. You can help me and support my channel though by using the links below. Hashtag Creator Life is a new series on my channel where I feature and review camera gears and share with you my content creation journey. And I hope you're in for the ride. Now, if you're looking for the best retro mechanical keyboard and mouse, check out my review of the Lofi Block and Touch PBT by clicking this. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you appreciate this video, and see you next time. Have a great day brawlies, you're always awesome.